Happy Holy Hump Day on this March 10th, everyone. I'm Pastor Robert. Welcome to this midweek time where I can share some spiritual thoughts and reflections with you. I'm here in the back of our sanctuary uh, where you would enter in uh, from the Welcome Center, and you can see the COVID-19 safety guidelines that we have uh, behind me, and it's for people when they attend the Sunday in-person worship, which we have been offering as an option um, starting back in uh, end of November, and we continue to offer an in-person worship option with these safety guidelines in mind. Um, but uh, I'm here because this will mark the one-year anniversary of when we needed to first close down our building for our worship service and many of our ministries. And I just think it's important for us to pause on this Holy Hump Day to think about this one-year anniversary I do remember when it was a Thursday night of that week a year ago when I got an email from uh, Bishop Palmer along with other pastors in the conference, West Ohio Conference, stating that because of the coronavirus, it would be important for our churches to not have an in-person worship service on Sunday and to close down our building, and which I think most of our churches uh, did that. And I, I remember feeling very anxious about it because, first of all, we needed to get word out to everybody that we were not going to have the building open on Sunday, and also to get the word out of how we would conduct worship without being able to come together in person for worship. And so I remember I recorded my video, maybe it was the next day, I think it was on Friday, I recorded my uh, video and then posted that on my Nikos web blog along with some other parts of the worship service and that's how we worshiped on that Sunday uh, one year ago and um, I think it it just reminded us that even without the church building we are still the church and that's kind of been our motto this year that we are still the church with or without the building and so I want you to know that I'll be sending a, a congregational letter out this upcoming week that um, commemorates this one year anniversary. And it's a way for me to thank you as the congregation for being so faithful and persistent uh, over these past 12 months. And, you know, it's been amazing how um, we have still been the church and we've been able to still be involved in ministry um, even though we have not been able to be together in person in many uh, different ways like we have been able to do in the past and so i just want to thank you uh, for you know being an awesome congregation and to um, you know just trust us in the leadership of the church uh, as we have been uh, maneuvering through this year uh, to be able to offer whatever ministries we can offer but also while remaining safe and being careful to not spread the virus here through our congregation so thank you for that and in the letter that I'm sending out in addition to thanking all of you on this one year anniversary we are letting you know about um, the Holy Week service that we'll have on Monday Thursday uh, that will be a pre-recorded service and uh, so you'll get that information in the mail this week. Also, we're going to offer a, an online Zoom Thirst uh, Zoom online event, which will be held on Thursday, March 18th at uh, 6.30 in the evening, and it'll be an hour long. And if you remember before we had uh, the coronavirus, um, when the church building was still open, uh, we were offering these thirst events that started with a covered dish and then we would have somebody in the church offer their testimony, their faith journey, and then uh, provide a time for question and answers um, at the end of that. And it was just one hour long and it was just a great way to get to know other church members better uh, because we don't often get to hear each other's faith journeys. And so um, we're going to have someone share their faith journey. It's going to happen to be my um, home pastor. And so my home pastor, who uh, helped me to hear God's calling to enter into the pastoral ministry, he will be sharing with us at that Thirst event through Zoom on Thursday, March 18th at 6.30. And you can sign up for that so that you can get an invitation to be part of that uh, Zoom online uh, gathering. So look for that in the mail. Um, just wanted to commemorate this time and to reflect on just how God has been so faithful over this past year. And I'm so thankful 
uh, especially for our staff. Uh, they've had to be creative in the ways uh, of um, helping our church, you know, without the benefit of in-person ministries. So just a, again, a thank you to our staff over these past 12 months. And also a big thank you to ministry team leaders in our church who have found creative ways to continue ministries like having online Zoom small groups, Bible studies, uh, connecting with children through uh, Zoom and, and other creative ways, uh, Monday lunch uh, that we provide curbside meals. Um, so I'm just so thankful for all of these different ways that we've been able to be the church and it's thanks to you. Also wanna say thank you to our leadership board as well as our reopening of the building task force which includes uh, one of our members, Dr. Dick Gaskell, who is the Athens County Health Department um, uh, chair. And uh, Dr. Gaskell has been instrumental in helping us, for example, to have this in-person worship option that is very safe um, because you know we don't allow singing or speaking parts, um, but we do have some other ways of of helping it to feel like worship when we're together here for the in-person worship option. So it's a, a big thank you to Dr. Gaskell for guiding us through some of those thoughts of conducting worship. And um, also just want to thank uh, our uh, worship uh, recording team. Uh, they have been fantastic through this, offer a high quality uh, uh, worship video through our church's YouTube channel. Um, that's something that we will continue to do even um, after we uh, get past the, the challenge of, the, of COVID-19. So um, I just want to, again, just say thank you uh, and look for that letter in the mail. This Sunday, uh, we're, we're going to have our 1030 in-person worship service as well as the online worship on our church's YouTube channel. We're going through these wilderness challenges. So for this Sunday, it's gonna be the challenge of our healing. And we all know that healing relates to not just physical healing, but can relate to emotional healing and spiritual healing, all kinds of healing. And so we're gonna uh, look at that challenge for this upcoming Sunday based on the appointed scripture readings. So please join us for worship uh, this Sunday. And then I also wanna offer this prayer in closing on this Holy Hump Day uh, as we think about uh, the one year anniversary of when we first needed to close our building. So let us pray. Gracious God, I thank you that I am sitting here at the threshold of our sanctuary, this beautiful building that means so much to us. And we know that the church is not the building, it is the people but we also know how important it is to have this holy space uh, to be your people. I thank you for the congregation that has been able to be so patient and steadfast, creative and faithful during these past 12 months. We look back on these 12 months and we thank you for guiding and directing us. And we look forward to that time when we will be able to overcome this coronavirus challenge and we pray that you would help us to continue to remain patient during this time. And thank you, O oh God, for teaching us what it means to be your church, even without the use, the full use of this building. And we pray all of this in the name of Jesus Christ, who does offer us his healing presence. In his name we pray, amen.